so I just got off work here it's Friday and it's finally time to start working on the car I'm gonna start getting it ready to hopefully try to pull into the garage I want to switch these wheels out first because I'll be sitting there and turning them really hard so I'm gonna put my old crappy wheels on um, that way I'm not destroying my brand new rims and or brand new tires so we'll get to that and I might get to something on the engine bay here in a second but let's get to it here it is I got the jack stand out here I gotta go get the tires and the lug nuts and the uh, security lug and then we'll start getting to it I managed to pick up a set of these uh, racing composite lug nuts and they are the best thing I've ever come across as far as lug nuts so it's got this little silver piece right here that spins acts as a washer on your regular this is a tuner nut that part doesn't spin or on your stock acorn nut they don't spin either but this one Maybe I can draw a line on it. And you can see that this part spins separately from everything else. They're amazing. They do wonders on the rims. So these are my old rims and these are what I ran these nuts and these nuts on and you can see that it's just been scarred up on the inside of each of those here's another one chipping away at the paint but on my new rims where I use these ones there's no paint that's chipped there's a little bit of a circle from where the tip of the nut goes but it's not near as bad as the other one now it might be a little bit of a minor detail to some people but for me I wanted to keep the rims as nice as I can for as long as I can that being said while we are trying to put my car on the um, u-haul we found out that i'm a little bit too wide to sit on the u-haul so i got a nice new scrape coming in here i'll have to try to figure out how to fix it because that's gonna bug me but sometimes you gotta learn things the hard way since i know the car's not gonna be running and i'm gonna have to tow the car i'm gonna install the tow hook into this little section right here. You can go into the back, down either underneath or in this way, but there's two tabs that you can push on and it'll start to pop out. Then you just pull it right out. That's where your tow hook goes. These are the, those are the two tabs that you wanna push in. You just push them in this way and then we'll get them off this holder. So now, be careful not to set this on the face because it will scratch itself. We'll put it over here, grab our tow hook, and then it just threads into here. So now that we've got this threading in, once we get this done, it's kind of long-winded. And I'll come back and tighten this up 
you want to make sure that this is tight so it doesn't pull the threads out. But I'll throw this in the car so I don't scratch it. But there's also one back here on the rear too that you can just stick a knife into or a screwdriver. Or you might be able to get it from the back, probably not. But it'll pop out and there'll be another screw that you can put into it on that side too for the back. Since the tires are off, it's always a good idea to pull all the rocks out of them because you don't want them getting jammed in there. And it's also a good time to take and inspect your tires. You want to look for uneven wear or a nail stuck in them. Anything that just kind of stands out, out to you as a, being a potential problem because you can fix it a lot easier with them off the tire than on it because you can just put it in the back of the car and head on out. Since the car's broken down, one of the things I thought I could, or I've come up with to help try to fix or find out what the problem is a little bit easier is one of these bad boys. So this is an endoscope. It's some it's a crazy fire. It's real cheap, wireless, but you can hook it up to your phone or your computer and and get the video. It's like a little camera, so I'll show you guys how it works real quick. It's I just got it, so let's let's go check it out. I've seen a couple videos of it. So this is the actual camera right here. That's it. That'll fit inside a spark plug hole. And it's got this super long cable and then a driver. Um, one of the cool features on this one is it's got little lights on it. It's got this box right here too that has a little rocker. I don't know if you can see a little rocker right there that you can turn it off or turn it brighter and it gets really bright. So we'll hook it up to one of my other uh, phones and I'll show you what the picture looks like. So this thing works off of a, a Wi-Fi signal. So all you do is you go into your phone's Wi-Fi and you can find out which one it is. It says it's one of these ones. So it's actually this one. We'll connect to it and then you have to go into their app moco view it'll show up like this then look at that we're connected so now we can look at whatever we want to like uh we'll look at the tools back here see all the tools this thing works out pretty slick it's got you can see the quality it's a couple inches off, and as I move here, as I move a little bit closer, you can still, one of the things that sucks is I've got shaky hands, and making it shaky kind of sucks. You can also turn the light way up if you need to, and it kind of adjusts for it, and makes it not wash out as bad. Here's the whole setup though. It's got the camera, comes down to the cord, goes around, goes through a little power module, has the rocker for the light, turn it on and off, and then it has this module where you can charge it on this side. And it's also got a flashlight, a really, uh, you gotta hold it, really bright flashlight on it if you need it. Let's you know it's needs charged. And it comes with this thing so you can just suction cup it to whatever you want if you're working on the side of a car or on the back of your phone or a little mirror and then this coil is a magnet and it's also got a little hook. So those will all go can all adapt and go on to the end of the um, camera. So when you're looking at it, you can look Either use a mirror and look somewhere or pick something up if you drop something. So I've got this excursion 
the excursion in here next to my bench that's getting its heads done. And I thought I'd give a little demonstration on what uh, what the camera actually looks like in real life before I use it. So I've got this going down one of the uh, journals to this screw. You can read the casting marks. This thing's going to be pretty slick. I think it'll help me out a lot with diagnosing everything. So this is the full what it can see. We can turn up the brightness if we need to. Turn it down. So that's as bright as it goes. But that would be plenty enough to see inside the engine bay. It's just sitting over there. So I got that camera down in that goalie looking at that bolt down there. You can see the blue light where it's at. Come over here. And that's what it's looking at. So yeah, you probably could arguably say that you can see all the way down in that journal right now. But with the Subaru, their spark plug holes are on the side right next to the frame rails. And they're really hard to get the, if you've ever done a, a uh, spark plug change on them. They're really hard to get the spark plugs out. So being able to bend the cable, and that cable is completely bendable. You can bend form and it will it will bend and stay there. Super cool. And you can just fish it right in. And if you need to, bend a different spot and work your way around and looking with a camera. So hopefully this will help me diagnose if I need pistons or if there's any cylinder wall um, damage. So I'll be able to slowly turn. I'll probably pull all the spark plugs out, slowly turn the valves, because you can turn the cam head um, slowly and see if that is um, scarred on the inside of the valves, or if anyone's broken. If one of them isn't coming out, then that's a problem. And then if everything's clear, I can probably turn the crank. I might not turn the crank because one of those pistons or one of those valves is probably sitting down. But either way, this will help me out a ton with um, diagnosing my problem. So I just wanted to give a quick update on that. It just came in the mail. It's gonna it's gonna be pretty cool, and I can use it for a ton of different things. Even like working on this engine, if if you lose a bolt and it's magnetic, just throw the magnetic tip on there. Go see the bolt and pick it up. Or look around with a, with a mirror. There was times on this excursion where we could have used it to look into the pistons there. Um, yeah, it'll, it, it'll be a cool little uh, tool in the tool belt to have. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. This is a quick little update. I'm not sponsored or anything by this product. I just saw it online and thought it was pretty cool to use so hopefully i'll use it and be able to use it a lot thanks guys bye